Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host Jason Turner. In this episode, I am going to cover something that sounds just a, maybe a little bit silly and to some of you it'll be immediately obvious what's going on and to others of you it won't and it'll be a little bit deeper insight into the language. But as you know, I love lambdas and I love telling you to make things const. So let's discuss what happens when we make lambdas const. So I'm just going to create a simple little lambda here. Now I have to use auto if I want to give this thing a name because I have no way of naming the type of a lambda. Now if I return this L uh, call of this lambda from main, I am going to get 42 returned from the program. That should not be surprising at all. And this is with a const lambda. And I don't see any difference in optimization or capability if I make this uh, const or not here. Um, it doesn't, doesn't really change a whole lot. Um, I can do things like make a copy of a lambda. Now, I cannot assign to this lambda. Uh, definitely not in C++. Um, 17 here let's put this if I'm in C++ 17 mode if I put it in C++ 2a mode then I have default constructible and assignable lambdas and we've covered that in a previous episode but if I make this const then I can't assign to it and like I said I through many different conference talks and many different videos, I suggest you make things const. In this case, I would suggest you make this const. But what happens if I want to make a const mutable lambda? So I'm going to remove the mutable first. And this is just a very simple incrementer. And this, again, kind of thing that I've shown many times on this channel. So if I do something like this, then I get this increment of read-only variable i. So I make it mutable. And now the program compiles, and I see that the program returns 0. The first time it's called, it returns 0. Let's add in a couple of extra calls here. So we should expect 2 is going to be returned now, and in fact, 2 is returned here. And if I apply some optimizations to our build, then we can see that we are getting 2 returned. Now. What happens when I make this const? This code cannot compile, but it is no longer this simple, you cannot modify a const variable kind of error. We're now getting this no match for a call to const main paren colon colon lambda paren 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 paren. It's like we're programming in Lisp at this point. And uh, we get this passing const to this, discards qualifiers. We end up getting like an entire page of errors because of this. And if you don't know what's going on, it could in fact be rather confusing. So uh, we're going to try to see if we can dig into what exactly is going on. Now, the first thing that should note is if I take this back to 0, get rid of this const, we're going to take this kind of all the way back to the beginning here, and I'm doing this just to return i. Now, what we might notice is this function signature here. This is the call operator overload that the lambda is providing for us. If I remove this mutable keyword, then I have made this paren operator overload, call operator overload, um, actually a const function. If I add mutable back, then it is not a const function anymore. So when we are trying to make this a const mutable, it doesn't even matter if we try to mutate the variable inside here anymore, the only function that we have available to us to call on these lines is a non-const call operator, and we're trying to call it with a const object. Now, I'm going to hit the CPP Insights button here. And I haven't, I don't think really spent any time talking about this, but CPP Insights, QuickBench, and Compiler Explorer now have a three-way um, 
thing going on where I can click on CBP Insights and I can get this exact same example in C++ Insights. So let's go ahead and hit the play button and C++ Insights here is going to show us the code that's actually being executed by the compiler here. It kind of um, shows us a peek behind the curtains as to what the compiler is doing. So I'm going to take remove this mutable so that it's actually compilable. And we can see that the compiler here has generated for us an inline, potentially const expr, operator paren, that is const, that returns an integer. So this is const if I get rid of this, and if I add mutable here, then it removes this const from here. I have to hit the play button again, removes the const. So if I try to make this a const mutable lambda, it is simply impossible to call my call operator overload. This code cannot compile. There is no way to use a const mutable lambda. So make all the things const except for the things that shouldn't be. If you are doing things like creating a generator out of a mutable lambda that is maintaining its own state, you simply can never make this thing const. It's illogical, but the error that you're getting might not make sense to you, and this is why. It's because there's no appropriate call operator overload for you to call. So thank you for watching this short episode of C++ Weekly. I hope you enjoyed it, learned something new, and be sure to check out CBP Insights, and if you're so inclined, um, consider supporting CBP Insights on Patreon as well. So thanks for watching.